Kamala Harris launches her campaign for president. Attention is turning to the impact her candidacy could have on down ballot key congressional races right here in California. Our Capitol correspondent Eitan Wallace joins us with why Democrats feel Harris could help them take back the House. Well, members of both parties don't agree on much, but they do agree on this. California will play a major role in which party takes control of the U.S. House of Representatives. And as of late, Democrats feel momentum is on their side. How are you feeling since you dropped out of the race, sir? With Biden out and Harris in, California Democrats say they're fired up. Among them, 19-year-old Kristen Figueroa. The election for Vice President Harris in November is going to be my priority over the next few weeks. Uh, I think a lot of people are excited, including myself. A rising Stanford University sophomore and a delegate at the upcoming Democratic National Convention, Figueroa believes Harris's candidacy has re-energized many Democrats, especially donors and young voters. I was very enthusiastic and very passionate about supporting President Biden in his, in his re-election campaign. Uh, and I think young people were too, young Democrats were as well. But I think now what we're seeing is just a complete new wave and shift of people who are Democrats, non-Democrats, just young people all of a sudden getting so passionate and so excited to elect Vice President Harris, the first woman president. Paul Mitchell of Political Data Inc., a nonpartisan voter information service tracking ballot and voter trends, says the Democratic excitement we're seeing now could have major implications for down-ballot races in California, including a handful of close toss-up congressional contests in several parts of the state that could determine which party takes control of the House. We have about seven seats that are really in play that are either democratically held but barely or Republican held but barely. And a small shift in this election cycle could swing seven seats to be Democratic or seven seats to be Republican. And that seven seats would be enough to flip control of the House. The House runs through California. We have congressional seats that are at, on the verge of, of the Democratic Party taking them back. But California Republican leaders say they too are energized. They point out Republicans took control of the House in the past thanks to their victories in close California congressional races. And now they're confident they'll do it again. California Republicans are the responsible for bringing us a House majority. The road to holding on to that House majority and growing that House majority comes straight through California. You know we have picked up five House seats in the same time that Democrats have lost six House seats right here in California. They're going to come at us with everything that they've got, but the problem is, is they don't have solutions. Republicans are showing up. And ballots will start to go out in the mail in early October. Election day is November 5th. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.